Is the city prepared for a chemical or biological attack? An air study being conducted by the Department of Homeland Security could help emergency planners figure that one out. CBS 2's Alice Gander explains from Times Square. Non-toxic particles are being released into the air by scientists. It's a sugar-based molecule, and it has a DNA tag that we can look for. It's a sugar that is found in food substances. Gases are being released, too. It's instantly volatilized, and the fan pushes the plume right up into the air. The gas is actually a plurfluorocarbon tracer, which is completely safe. It's used a lot in airflow studies. Sampling and sensor equipment is set up at more than 120 stations and outdoor locations. It's basically a vacuum pump with a filter, and so then they're going to collect the materials. Scientists will measure how far the materials traveled and the concentration, allowing them to see aerosol materials that may be hazardous to the public, uh, how they are moving through a very complex urban environment. They insist test materials are safe and they're being transparent, a far cry from decades past. Back in the 1940s through 60s, the U.S. Army secretly released bacteria it thought were harmless across U.S. cities, including into the New York City subway system for germ warfare studies. This week's airflow study is a follow-up to previous testing and required years of planning and rigorous approval, not just from the feds, but also the MTA, NYPD, Port Authority, and health departments of both New York and New Jersey, where they will also collect samples. If people are getting on path and going home at night, are they carrying, are the trains carrying material into New Jersey? They say the equipment is clearly marked and it won't affect or change your commute. Just hopefully better prepare officials and help refine airflow. In Times Square, Alice Gaynor, CBS 2 News. And the last time they did this kind of testing on a smaller scale was back in 2016. And as a result, there were significant changes in terms of emergency response protocols.